here representing Sony Honda Mobility uh, right here in the Sony CES 2023 booth and uh, showcasing our brand new prototype car, the Afila. I'm just going to start off by telling you it's actually in the name. Obviously, the EV space or electric vehicle space is starting to become a crowded area. So Sony, Ho Sony Honda Mobility is going to deliver a unique experience or a feel, which is basically where the name comes from. It's all about safety and autonomous driving, which is the first of three A's. It's about augmentation or the experience of the passenger while in the vehicle, and then also the affinity. The affinity is the relationship between the car and the passengers, and also the electronics community. So we're welcoming other developers to be a part of this vehicle, and we have strong partnerships that helped us deliver this product. Sony initially started off with the vision program, which was basically the concept process. With Sony Honda Mobility, this is the first prototype, but it is super, super close to delivery. So we're talking pre-orders to begin in the summer of 2025, and then also the first North American products to be delivered spring of 2026, so super fast. First, I'll talk about just the autonomy. Autonomous driving is all about safety. As we transition from, I sound funny saying it, but traditional driving to autonomous driving, it's all about how safe can you be. The Afila has 45, internal and external cameras and sensors to deliver level two plus or level three autonomous driving safety. Now, when you do have that level of safety, it now becomes about the in-cabin experience. And the Afila introduces HMI or human machine interface, which brings all of the entertainment that Sony has to offer right into the cabin. I'm talking a fantastic music experience highlighted by Sony's 360 reality audio sound. Also, movies delivered from, well, of course, Sony Pictures, such as Spider-Man, and then also gaming with its PlayStation integration. So now, most of the time, you're the person that doesn't want to be driving so that you can take advantage of all of the entertainment that's involved inside of the car. Now, a couple of other things I'd like to add to that are that you'll notice that the car doesn't have any door handles, which is the first thing that people mostly notice. Autonomous, the autonomous experience shouldn't start once you get in the car. It actually should start the minute you engage with the vehicle. So on the side pillar, you'll notice that there is a camera sensor there as well as on the side view cameras. It's able to identify the profile via facial recognition of the driver. And once you breach a certain proximity, the door is automatically open for you. So your autonomous experience starts from the very, very beginning. Additional to that, I told you that there was a lot. Additional to that is the integration of a media bar in the front of the car, which is awesome. You should be able to engage with your car, your car engage with you, even when you're not in it. So if you're out hanging around and you're having fun with friends, the media bar in the front can support you with a wealth of applications. Maybe you wanna find out the latest scores that are happening. Scores are scroll across the media bar. Maybe you wanna know what the weather temperature or what the weather conditions are. It gives you a weather update. As soon as you approach the vehicle and you're ready to drive it, it'll automatically let you know what your battery charge level is and also can let you know if any of your tires need air. So it's the vehicle integrating itself into your lifestyle and helping to support the experience that you're gonna have with it.